Oh no. Hi, hi, hi. Hope you're well. Hope you're swell. Hope you're well. Hope you're great. Okay. I wanted to show you what I got my mom for her birthday because I'm very excited. Her birthday is on the 23rd of September. I decided to get the stuff today because I was going out to buy ice cream. And I was like, okay, I'm out. I might as well. And when I got back, I found her sleeping on the couch. And I was very tempted to just give this stuff to her now. Because I just want, wanted to show, show off the stuff to her. But then I was like, no, wait, wait. Wait until the 23rd. I don't know. Wait until the 23rd. She's going to work that day. Maybe if I give her, it's Saturday today, if I give it to her tomorrow, maybe, then she can have it. She's home, it's the weekend, she can enjoy the stuff. Or should I just give it to her Monday when it's her actual birthday? I don't know. I got a bunch of stuff. I'm excited, very excited to show it off. I've been looking forward to this day. I didn't get her a bag and a card this time, which is funny. Because the last time, there's actually a video I, I, uh, there's a video I made showing off stuff last time, like a couple months ago. I got her stuff then, it wasn't even her birthday, it was a random day, I was feeling generous. I got her a bag and a card then, it wasn't even her birthday, but this time it is her birthday, I didn't get her any bag, any card. Uh, it's okay though. It's okay. So, let's go through what I got her. I'm very excited. So I went to the body shop. I went to the body shop. I got her, she was telling me how she loved this Japanese matcha, matcha tea pollution clearing mask, it's a face mask. Interesting. Why does it look like it's been opened? Anyway, don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. It smells good though. She said she wanted this, so I got it for her. A Japanese matcha tea face mask. So there's that. That's the first item. And then I got her a bigger tub of this body butter that I got her last time. I'll try and link the video that I did before. So you can see the, the stuff I got her last time, but this time I got a bigger tub. I got a strawberry last time, but the, it was smaller. This one's bigger. She's telling me that she's using it sparingly because she doesn't want it to run out. So it's like I should get her a bigger one so that she doesn't have to worry about it running out. I actually got two. I got her two. This one and got a grapefruit. Pink grapefruit. Mm. Oh, this smells amazing. Oh my god. Oh. Wow, that smells good. That smells beautiful. That smells divine. Let me smell the strawberry. I never even smelled it, but mm. I think I should have gotten another flavor. Another. I have been using strawberry for a while. Maybe I should have got another one. Anyway. So, so pink grapefruit and strawberry.
beautiful mama. And then <clears throat> I went to the I went to the Lindt store, <clears throat> the Lindt chocolate store, which is great, by the way. It's amazing. They've got so much variety, things I've never seen before. So these are not things you'll find in the supermarket. You know, in the supermarket, you'll go, you'll see like the Lindt chocolate slabs. When you go to the Lindt store, the dedicated Lindt store, they've got a lot of variety, things that they don't have in supermarkets. So I got these wafers. They sealed the bag really nicely, so I don't want to open it. Look at that. So, I don't know if you can see any of it. It's like these little wafers, chocolate wafers. So, those three flavors, I got two of each. Were they three flavors? I think there were three. <clears throat> I got two of each. <clears throat> One of them is milk chocolate and hazelnut. The other one is just milk chocolate. And then the other one is dark chocolate. And it's got like wafers, so that, that are cubes. Mm. They're like cubes with wafers. Let me hide them. Hide the evidence because my mom never knocks when she comes into my room, she just opens the door. So, I don't want her to burst in here while I'm showing off her gifts. Mm. Then the, the surprise is ruined. I'll put them in my bag. It's pretty cold right now. So, I think if I keep them in my bag, it'll be good. There'll be no stress about them melting or anything like that. I can hide them in my shelf as well. And then I got uh, these little chocolate balls. So this will be the flavors. One is strawberry and cream. Doppio chocolato. What is that? What is doppio chocolato? Is doppio the three? What is doppio? What is this Google? Doppio meaning. Why is it giving me the answer in French? Twice. No, doppio is two. Twice the amount. Doppio chocolato, so probably two types of chocolate, I guess. The other one is pistachio, the other one is cheesecake. So I think I got cheesecake, pistachio, strawberries, and cream, and doppio chocolato. I got two of each for her. It's cute, you can, she can put it in her bag. She can put it in her bag and take one when she feels like it. Just slams. Last time I got her, I got her chocolate. She gave me notes. She was like, "Next time, give me dark chocolate." Yada yada yada. So I was like, "Okay." So this time I get it. I got her dark chocolate. So here we've got cranberry, almond, and hazelnut. That cranberry, almond, and hazelnut. So if you go outside making a whole lot of noise. Cranberry chocolate and hazelnut. That's one. And then what's this? This is dark, dark hazelnut. The, the, the box just looked interesting. Hazelnuts. 
We've got, uh, this one is milk chocolate, but I think she'll like it still. You know, just for some variety. Uh, what flavor is this? Hazelnut and raisin. <clears throat> Whenever she gets like, the, the, you know, the cheap Cadbury chocolate bars, she always gets the, the, the hazelnut and raisin flavor, the nuts and raisins flavor. Uh, so this is like the lint version of that. Hopefully it's good. We'll see how what a review of this one is because she likes the, the nuts and raisins type of chocolate. I like this packaging. It's paper. These ones are like cardboard. So you can see that you can hear the difference. This one's paper, like a foil, foil rather than paper. Oh, it says you had the lint difference. So I guess that they're, they're telling you what differentiates it from other chocolates. Uh, finest cocoa. Roasting and grinding of the cocoa. Lint invention, which is conching. Conching. And then they got the best ingredients. And then finishing with perfection. So very, very ambiguous. It's, you know, like... <laughs> but I guess that's what makes them different from everyone. And then... Some experimental flavors here. Uh, lemon sorbet. Lemon sorbet. Lemon sorbet. And creme brulee. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. Hopefully this is good. I'm not sure if it will be good or not. I don't think I've ever had actual creme brulee. I've always had things that are flavored as creme brulee. I don't think I've actually ever had creme brulee. I've had creme brulee flavored sweets, creme brulee flavored milkshakes. I've never had creme brulee, like actual creme brulee. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. Like, what is it? I don't know. But I got in this chocolate that is flavored as that. Hopefully likes it so yeah that's that's that um got a five bars of chocolate uh, and some skin products and i think she'd be a very happy camper that this all of this will last her a while all of this will last her a long while this this just looks aesthetically pleasing this just looks nice this will be the thumbnail for sure. I'll take a picture of myself holding these up. Okay. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm gonna go eat now. I'm very hungry.